Hello everyone. So of course I have to show a disclaimer as required by law. <laughs> if, as you know with any of the classes if there's anything that you can't do, don't do it. Wait for the next thing or modify it so it's easier for you to do. You accept all risk and liability. Thank you. And if you don't know me, my name is Jennifer Lawson, also known as Mother J. Um, I'm an aromatherapist and fitness instructor. I was focusing on senior fitness until COVID hit. And now um, I can't get into any senior homes because I have a sick daughter who's in the hospital a lot. So we're gonna try this. So I've been doing some short classes here where we talk about ways we can use tools at home to get great exercises with. We worked through dumbbells and yesterday we did balls. So today is sticks. And as you can see, I have an arrangement here, an assortment here, um, but as you can see, any stick. Um, so a hockey stick can be kind of long, but if you have the space, you can still work with it. A ski pole, you'll <laughs> see it's bent. It works great for exercising with. Um, it's still maybe a little for the space. I forgot to turn my phone off, sound off again. So, you're gonna hear a couple more of those dings. <laughs> Forgive me for that. So here's my daughter's walking stick. And this one's actually really good length. It's not too long. It'll be easy to use in a small space. So it should work really well. Um, in senior homes, they use PVC pipe or uh, foam noodles even. Um, but I also wanted to show that a yardstick can work. It is almost long enough. It may be too short. But if you're a small person with short arms, a yardstick can work great. It has, it has the same benefits. What we're trying to do is work our arms together using the stick. So, <clears throat> I wanted to show, I like this stick the best. So Just so you have an idea of the options that you have at home. I mean, pretty much anything. And so, we always want to think about, of course, our stance. And when we're using the stick, we have to be aware we have room to swing it around without hitting anything or breaking anything. Um, and of course, our stance. So our wide stance, soft knees. We're thinking about bringing that belly into our spine, using our core muscles to keep us upright and strong. We have our soft knees so we can move with it. And then the stick, depending on the length of it, you want it about... Uh, your elbows bent about like this. So almost a 90 degree ang angle. This is a good extension to hold it at. It's a great place to start. Um, if you have shorter arms, you can always start in closer. But this, the length of the stick really helps with the muscle use and the range of motion that we're working with today. <laughs> That's the whole point of the stick. <laughs> so we have our soft knees, our posture, our shoulders are back. We're trying not to lean forward because that hurts our slower back as we're exercising. And we can do quite a few things with this stick. So one of my favorites is bow fighting. And all you're doing is using the stick as a block. So you step to the side, bring the same hand up and block with the stick. And then back to the middle. Then you step to the other side, bring the same hand up and block with the stick. So it's a good, firm movement. So you step and step. Very firm movements. See how the muscles are getting tense and flexed with the movement. The more stiff and firm you are with it, more muscle movement you get out of it or the muscle activity you get out of it so it's a great exercise that can be aerobic if you speed it up but if you don't if you're not able to do the fast yet slow and steady works wonderful it's a great movement and it really gets the whole body movement and it gets the heart pumping <laughs> and you always want to remember your breathing if you're not breathing while you're exercising, your muscles are getting tired faster and you're not able to build as much muscle as fast because your muscles don't have the oxygen they need. <laughs> so 
So we talked about breathing in through our nose and out through our mouth. even when we go going fast. So that's one movement we can do with the stick. <laughs> I've got two more for you. So another one is rowing a boat, but we kind of add something to it so we're not just rowing. This is just simple rowing. Just rowing from side to side. But we can make it a full body movement by adding a step. So we start in the middle, step it out, Row it and bring it back. Step it out, row it and bring it back. Step, row, back. Step, row, back. Step, row, back. Step, row, back. So easy, but it's really, really good workout for the core sides really great for toning those and then of course your glutes get a nice workout with all that stepping and of course you want to keep going <clears throat> not just a few repetitions if you feel comfortable with it speed it up make it aerobic get that heart pounding or if you're not ready for that slow it down use those controlled strong movements You get a lot of muscle work out of those movements if you're just using your muscles, if you're focusing on them. So just like yoga, yoga can hu build huge amounts of muscle and all you're doing is standing there and holding a pose. So when we think about it, we don't always have to be moving, especially not moving fast to build muscle. So we did our row, our bow, our Japanese bow fighting. Now, <clears throat> There's one more and it's really simple, seems really stupid, but it's amazing exercise for the arms and the back. So we want to make sure we have our shoulders back, we have our wide stance, our soft knees, so we can make it a full body exercise even though we're not really moving around. So we're drawing circles. We're just going to go forward with the stick, bending the knees, and back up with the stick. Remember to keep the spine as straight as you can. We are not arching the back. We are bending the legs and moving the arms. Nice big circle. And really, it doesn't take long to feel this through the whole body. And again, this is just a stick. There's no weight added to it works really well. You know, I was just thinking even a curtain rod would work if you had a short curtain rod. <laughs> um, so we did forward circles. Now <clears throat> you can do the same thing going backwards, just the opposite direction, getting that full body movement. And it doesn't take long to feel it in the lower back and the abdomen. The upper legs. Don't forget to breathe. So simple. Such a great exercise. And you don't have to buy tools. It's pretty easy to find something long and straight that you can work with. Even a broom handle would work. <laughs> so it gives us some ideas on the stick. Now there's one other one, it's a balance test. So you have to be sure of your balance with this one for sure. But what we're doing is working on our balance and our focus and dexterity, which is not always easy. <laughs> so we're gonna bring one foot up or up and touch the stick and put it down. Bring the other foot up, touch the stick. It's not easy, <laughs> especially if you don't want to hurt yourself by swinging the stick around. You have to use some control and touch. And I have terrible balance. So this is a great way to improve balance, give us our better stability so that we can function in our daily routines better without injury. <laughs> 
So it's a one-footed basic exercise, which is so simple. And again, you're using a stick, something you could find in your yard or borrow from a grandkid, <laughs> any of those things. But even again, even this yardstick, you could still use it. It still works. It's very light, but it has the same benefits, the same function. And so cheap. I think they're a dollar at Walmart. I found this one in the garbage <laughs> because it's broken. <laughs> That's why it's so short. But anyway, <laughs> so even a stick like this. So with this stick, we can do a few stretches and then we'll be done with our demonstration for today. So we still want our good stance. This is the best stance for balance and posture because it brings your center of gravity down here, not up here. So you really can move and flex and remain stable. So we're just gonna stretch it up. So bring it up, stretch it up high, as high as you can, breathing in. Now bend it over and breathe out. Bring it back up, breathing in. Stretch it over and breathe it out. Good. Bring it back up. And relax it down. So, thank you for joining me today. On October 26th, we are going to do a full class where we incorporate the ball, the stick, the dumbbells and our leg movements that we'll be trying tomorrow. So it, it's an introductory class. I'm starting it out at 99 cents a person. So anybody that can join for a buck, please do um, check it out. It's my first time charging for a video for a fitness class. So we'll see how it goes. And again, check out my website, motherj.com, all handmade products. And there's other videos on my website and on YouTube that you can check out. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a great day. <laughs>